What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna start to learn Dart for Flutter. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna start to learn Dart. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, like I said, in this video, we're gonna to start to learn the Dart programming language, which is the programming language that you use for Flutter, which is the great framework that you can use to build mobile apps. So in this video, we're going to install Dart, we're gonna install all the packages and things that we need to start to use Dart, get it up and running, and then move on from there. So I'm in my Git bash terminal and I'm gonna create a couple of directories. First, I'm gonna mkdir make directory. I wanna put this in the C drive and I'm just gonna call this Dart. This is where we're going to download and install Dart, the actual programming language and all the stuff that we're gonna need. Okay, while I'm here, I'm gonna make another directory, put it in the C drive and let's just call this Dart stuff. This is where we're gonna save our Dart files, our programs as we create them, as we learn Dart. All right, that's good. Let's head over to our web browser and I'm just gonna go to Google and type in Dart install or something like that. And then here's the website we need. And this is dart.dev slash git dash dart. If this changes by the time you watch this video, just Google it and you'll find it. And what we need is the Dart SDK. Now I'm on a Windows computer, so we'll be doing this for Windows. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but you can see there's some command prompts you can use if you have chocolatey installed. We don't. Uh, you can see Linux and Mac commands that you can do it from the terminal. We don't have those either. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab any release channel by downloading the SDK as a zip file. So I'll click that. Now I'm at the git-dart slash archive page. And you can come through here and it's a little confusing, right? There's a bunch of different options. We just want the stable channel. There's other channels you can get, the dev channel, the beta channel. Those aren't as stable. We want the most stable current version. And that's just the stable channel right here. So we come through here and I'm on a 64-bit machine, so I want this Dart SDK. So you can see, you can hover on both of these. I just want this one here, the first one, Dart SDK. So I'm gonna click this, and we're gonna save this. You could save this anywhere, but we've got that directory we created. So I'm gonna navigate to that. That was C slash Dart, there it is. I'm just gonna save it there. And this is a pretty decent sized file. It's 186 megabytes, it looks like, and so, this is Firefox, and so my downloads are up here. If you're on Chrome, they're probably down there in the corner. Wherever they are in your browser, click this thing to open it. And here we go. Now this is a zip file, so it's all zipped up. We need to unzip it, we need to extract it. So I'm gonna click Extract All, and it's gonna ask me where I wanna put this. Now this is fine, I'll just extract it here. Now this is like 400 and something megabytes. It's a big package to install, so make sure you have a lot of space in your computer. Eventually we're gonna learn Flutter and you're gonna need I don't know, like 10 gigabytes for that or something. So uh, you're gonna need a lot of space on your computer. So this should just take a second. Okay, there we go. And here I'm gonna navigate back to Dart. And you can see here's the zip file. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And if we click this, and then we see this Dart-SDK. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this. So right click cut. And I'm just gonna come back and I'm gonna paste this in the main Dart directory. You don't really have to do that, but eh, I like to keep these things nice and clean. So you can see now this one here is empty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Okay, so I'm in my C Dart and we have this Dart-SDK. Now, we need to add this to our environmental paths on Windows so that our terminal will know where to find it when we wanna run Dart programs, right? So the way we do that is we click on the, double click this, and we wanna go to bin, right? And so here we can come up here and right click and then what we wanna do is copy the address as text. We just need to copy the address on our computer where this is sitting. And we know it's sitting at C slash Dart slash Dart SDK slash bin, but instead of typing all that, we could just right click on here and click copy address as text. Next, you wanna go and hit your Windows Start menu. Uh, this is actually on the other monitor, so you can't see it, but the Windows Start menu pops up. You can imagine that. Just type in ENV, short for environmental and a little icon will pop up that says, edit the system environmental variables. And that's on your control panel. So just click that icon and this thing pops up. And this is where our environmental variables are. We can see right here. So we click on that and then look through this list and hopefully you'll have a path. If not, you'll need to click new and add path, but you should already have path on here. And what we need to do is add Dart to our path. So I'm gonna click this and click edit. And when I do this box pops up with all the other variables, environmental variables that we have, I'm just gonna navigate over here and click new. 
And you can see this little thing pops up here. I'm gonna right click and click paste. And it pastes in that address we just copied from the Windows Explorer, which is C slash dart slash dart dash SDK slash bin. So go ahead and click OK. And now you're good to go. Now, if we click edit again, you can see hey, it's still there. Make sure it is. It is. OK, so we're good. So we can click OK here, get out of this, and we can close this. We're done with all of this. So we're now installed. Now, I like to use Sublime Text. A lot of you guys like to use things like visual code and stuff like that. You could probably get away with that for Dart, but I'm just gonna use Sublime. So we're gonna need to install the Dart package for Sublime just so the code looks nice. And I'll show you why in just a second. But first, we head over to our terminal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this terminal because you probably need to restart this since we've added an environmental variable to the path. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna open another one. And I'm just gonna type in Dart and hit Enter. And if something pops up and it says a command line utility for Dart development, we know, hey, Dart has been installed correctly. If you get some sort of error, Dart probably hasn't been installed correctly. You didn't unzip it correctly or you didn't add the right variable path to our environmental variables or something. So just rewatch what we just did and give it another try, but you should probably have this. That looks great. So I'm gonna now navigate into our C Dart stuff directory because that's where we're gonna start creating things. And let's head over to Sublime Text. And I just opened a new file. And I'm gonna go File, Save As, and I'm gonna to navigate to our Dart stuff directory. And I'm just gonna call this hello.dart. Now Dart files end in .dart, like Python files end in .py, Go files end in .go, Ruby files end in .rb, Dart files end in .dart. So let's just create a very simple Dart program just to see if this is working, because it's probably not yet. So let's go void, main, and we'll get into what all this is in a bit. But here, I'm just going to go print, and then we'll do our hello world file because that's always the first file. And Dart programming, we have to put the semicolon at the end. That's gonna drive you crazy. Now, if we save this, you'll notice this is all white. And that's not what we want. We want this to be different colored based on the code, like all other files do when we write code. And the problem is Sublime doesn't know what Dart is. So we need to install the Dart package in order for it to know what this is. If we go to view and syntax, we could see you know, there's no Dart listed here. So we could do that. Let's head over to preferences and hit package control. And then just type in install. And you can see this install package thing pops up. So click that. And this little box pops up. Now we could just type in Dart. And there's a couple of options, Dart and Dart Lite. I don't think it probably matters all that much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the regular Dart one. I click that, this thing pops up. There's some more instructions here. We don't really need to do this because we're not gonna be running a terminal in Sublime because that's always a terrible idea. So we could just close this. And now if we come back over here and click View, Syntax, we can say, hey, there's Dart. And when we hit it, boom, it changes color as you would expect all coding things to change color. So you may have to restart Sublime in order to do this. I didn't have to this time, it looks like, so we should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this file, head back over to our terminal. And let's ls to make sure, yep, there it is. There's that file, hello, Dart. So to run Dart files, we just type in Dart and then the name of the file, hello.dart. And boom, it prints out hello world, just like we would expect it to because, hey, even though we don't know Dart yet, we know that, hey, that probably is gonna print out hello world to the screen. And it sure enough, it did, and we're good to go. So that's how to install Dart on a Windows machine, very easy especially if you're using Sublime. You know, if you're using Visual Studio Code, you're gonna have to install some packages and do the whole thing. And it's Sublime is so easy, that's what we're gonna be using just to learn the Dart programming language. Later on, when we start looking at Flutter, we might use something else like Visual Studio Code or something. But for now, we can get away with Sublime, and so that's what we're gonna do. So that's all there is to it. I think Dart is gonna be a lot of fun for you guys to learn. And again, Dart is the programming language that Flutter uses. And if you're familiar with Flutter, Flutter is that great framework that you can use to make mobile apps very easily. They work on Android, they work on iOS, they work on everything right out of the box. That's the great thing about Flutter. But first we need to learn the Dart programming language. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time learning Dart. It's quick and easy, it shouldn't take very long at all. And it's a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.